scientific discovery has been the basis for revolutionizing the world for centuries. At its most basic level, science helps us to understand nature and our environment, as well as human and animal behavior. Science has brought forth the development of the industrialized world and made possible the development of modern technology. Science has been especially critical in the fight against disease. Without the advancements in knowledge made possible through scientific discovery, civilization would stagnate and new discoveries would be left to chance. The scientific process can be an arduous task. Scientists must formulate hypotheses to be tested, carry out rigorous experiments, and ensure reproducibility of results. Scientists undertake this challenge for the joy of discovery and for the reward of contributing to society through the generation of knowledge. Scientific knowledge is made available in the form of research publications. Scientists are primarily evaluated on the basis of these publications. The number and impact of their publications affect their career advancement, their success in securing funding and tenure, and can even affect their future publication success. But science is very competitive. Not all research results have the same opportunity to be published. Scientific journals take pride in advancing their specific scientific discipline, so they strive to publish only the most novel and exciting research results. This preference gives scientists the incentive to undertake research that will be considered novel and exciting. Often, scientific experiments may be well designed and executed, but may lead to negative results. For example, if we hypothesized that taking probiotics would reduce the side effects of chemotherapy, and a well-controlled animal study demonstrated the side effects of chemotherapy in mice in the probiotic treated group were no different than in the untreated control group, this would be a negative result. Negative results such as this may be very informative and would contribute to the collective knowledge base. However, they are not novel and exciting, so the results often go unpublished. On the flip side, not all new and exciting findings are based on well-designed experiments, so published results may prove to be false. In most cases, this is not because scientists have set out to do bad science or have lied and fabricated results. In fact, there are serious negative consequences for scientists in their careers if they engage in research misconduct. Instead, the false results are a consequence of the current publication system and incentives to publish. For example, rather than invest her time and resources to fund one large carefully executed study, that might produce a negative result. A scientist may instead divide her efforts across multiple, low-powered studies to increase the chance of producing a positive result. Even though the positive result actually occurred in the small study, that same result might not be reproducible if the experiment were to be conducted again with a larger number of participants. Furthermore, this finding may never be challenged, since journals are seldom interested in publishing repeat findings, and so scientists often avoid undertaking experiments that directly repeat another's work. As a result, there are many published findings that turn out to not hold up over time. If such false findings are finally uncovered, the public can become disillusioned with science and scientists. The current publishing system, with its tendency to focus on publishing the most novel and exciting results, may be severely hampering the advancement of science. To address this concern, the Center for Open Science was founded in 2013 to ensure the central values of the scientific process, which are openness, integrity, and reproducibility, are aligned with daily scientific practices. An open science framework based on data sharing would allow scientists to post their current work and also stay up to date in their fields without having to rely on the publication industry. This means scientists would be motivated to design studies based on their curiosity rather than based on the potential acceptance for publication. Scientists could be judged based on their work and its contribution to the field without a complete reliance on formal publications. By reducing the importance of publication as a primary motivator in conducting experiments and creating a framework for open science, we will ensure a sound future for the creation of knowledge.